having it. All right. Sound as bad. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the show of the weekend. Personally, I thought it was a cracking show. Um, yeah. A few people have mentioned they're a little bit tight, you know, walking around and stuff, but it is what it is, eh? It was the first year. The show's in their infancy, so it is what it is. Well, you're coming up for it because they've done a, a really, really good job. So, 101,000 videos about the show have been on YouTube, so I think we'll get over that one now and we'll move on. I've done jack shit again with the pond. Bank holiday weekend just gone. Done nothing with the pond again. So I'm gonna start. To, I've got to start getting in there and getting some blocks laid and getting the drain in. We'll get the drain in first. Get the fiberglass out first, and then get the drain in, and then get some blocks laid. And then we'll start to see. I think once the blocks start to go down and we start to see the shape and everything coming together, and then I'll probably start to get a little bit more about me. But I, uh, I ain't interested yet. I'll be honest. Like I've already touched on. Um, bought some fish the weekend as I, as I documented down in there now. With the others, they're all right. Don't see much of them, if I'm honest, because I'm always under that bloody that water lettuce. So I don't see much of them. That that there is running hundred times better. Sorry, that there running hundred times better. The only thing is I've got now is this hinge on this side has broke again. So I've got to replace the hinge. I've ordered some brass ones this time. Can't keep replacing the hinge. So it's just doing rush day. And these, well, I think I've nearly killed them. These, get them out of my shoulder. These are having fluke treatment at the minute. Um, right, I'll tell you the story. Basically, I'll get them five days straight, full doses of Alperex, because we found Costia, as I documented on the last video. So they're five straight full doses. And then, day six, I miss day seven, I then get them a dose of PP, because I found flukes, which I'll, if I think about it, I'll stick it on this video as well. Like the flukes was having a rave. And then that was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I put PP in, that's right. Then I had to pop out, I had to go out somewhere, and then I come back. Totally forgot about that I PP them. So it's all gone brown and crappy. But then what I did then is I put three parts of a hundred gram packet of fluke solving. Talk about pushing the boundaries, eh? Talk about pushing the boundaries. If anybody's dangerous, I'm dangerous. Dangerous day of me. But, uh, you know, I'll push the boundaries on anything, I always do. Always, even with PP, I'll, speak, I'll, I'll just push it right to the very edge. These are indeed, if I'm going to treat them, you might as well treat them. These are okay, they're a little, little bit pissed off at the minute, but I'll come round, I'll be alright, you know. I'll be sound. Like I said, then we're doing fine, never hungry. Right, I'm going to spin the camera around, I'm going to show you um, what I've just done. Just come back. Uh, so I'll give a quick preview, or oh, preview, not preview, it is preview, because you're very paying for it, but it's preview, and preview, I'm going on, catch you in a sec. So cost here have gone, next approach, I believe, is going to be a dose of PP today, followed up straight after with the Fluke Solve Plus. There's a big colony of Fluke on this slide, all over it. But the beauty of it is the cost here have gone. Happy days. And this is off the big girl as well, off the same fish as I scraped last week. So those of you who went to the show um, may have noticed that there was a few new um, dealers, if you like, or a couple of dealers what you've probably never seen before, and one of them being Walker Coy. Um, you can find him on Facebook, Walker Koi. He has a, yeah, he's everything Japanese, nothing else, just Japanese. Um, I've got to be honest, he's he's literally five minutes away from me, and he's just one of them who who will look after you. He's, he's, he's perfect. Now then, this one. So if I'm going to, have to set the net off, this one I purchased. Well, I actually reserved with him around about a month ago. Tancho Achiba. Um, quite a good one as well, it's male, all day long, 35cm bowl, so you can see the size is around about 35cm, um, which it was sold to me as, Let's see if I can get a bit of a shadow over it, and yeah it's in pristine condition in all fairness, 
just going to acclimate into my water. I'm going to stick some more of my water in there in a minute because I'm salted. He's going in with the toes eyes in the tank. Um, yes, before anybody says anything, I am conscious that there's already around about 50 fish in there. Water shit, in all fairness, but it is what it is. It's only chocolate. I've been eating some of the G food just to get it out of the way. Knackered the water up again. Um, so yeah, there's around about 50 already in there, but this one will be alright. Um, doing in there as well, for the time being, but it will be moved. Before the winter, there'll, there'll be a few of them moved out of there. Uh, I've got another vat coming. I've also got another vat just down the bottom. Um, it's just fitting them in with the build as well. That's the hard bit. Uh, they're okay in that pond there. They're fine. I did give a kinky Atsuri a dose or another treatment the other day. Um, the ulcer's still very red, um, but not open. So there was a couple of three scales I had to pull out. So I pulled them out, did the same again, get another treatment. This Kawaki here had a couple of dead scales in the side. That's looking really good, in all fairness. Um, everything seems to have healed up on that. That's female as well, so that could be a breeder. So the Kinki Atsuri and the Kawaku had a bit of treatment. The, the Yamabuki, really I should have got out and checked as well because I know there was a problem on the anal thing when it went in, but I'm seeing nothing else on it now, if I'm honest. You can normally catch a glimpse of it and it looks fairly clean, but I will get that out and check it as well. Tancho shower here lost all its colour. The red's gone, the black's faded back, and the other shower's doing the same. It's Suri there, Shiro Suri's down there is fine. Everything else is sound in there, even the big chag, the big brown chag what jumped out, decided to do a jump on the hottest day of the year. That's that's sound as well, not a mark on it really. Other than a couple of scales gone off the off the back end. These are okay in here. Can't really document them that well because I'm just under all the plants again. So that's where we are. It's um, it's Tuesday, Tuesday 29th is it today? No, 30th today because I've just been to the doctors. Uh, and my stitches out my bonds. So I've got my hair cut now. But yeah, I'm going to sort this, um, this achiever out now and uh, and see how, it, uh, see how it goes. It's going in here. Be around about the biggest fish in here that will now. 35, there's a couple in here where are 32. So, yeah, it's a nice fish, nice fish in all fairness. Male, very male, as you can tell, with the body. Long and slender, big pecs. Uh, probably I've got a female achiever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm thinking there. Yeah. The reticulation on this one, though, is absolutely stunning. I mean, that's cracking that it is, in all fairness. Yeah. What you can see of it, sorry about the reflections. What you can see of it, yeah, you've got to go a long way to find one like that, and they don't come cheap. So, right, I'll crack back to you, I'll catch you in a bit. Having you? Got to put your hair cut. I've had my stitches out now, so I've got to get a few days and then I'll get my hair cut then, hopefully, he says. Or is it Thursday? It's Thursday, it's around about half past four. I've just finished work, caught the garden, had a bit of a mess about getting these. Uh, really buggers in here. I've just been studying for the last 10-15 minutes throwing food in and now I've put the camera on look they don't want to come up. It's crazy eh? Now, you, you, the pellet were even it in the water and that was breaking through the water to get at it but now they're just going now because I put the bloody camera on brain your out. Uh, right as I've documented I've had um, I've had an achiever it's gone in there so what I've done is again just out of proportion, what I like to do, or what I've got used to doing this year. Dose of Alprex in there, uh, 0.4 of salt, dose of Alprex. The fish would have been in there for a while, they're probably sick of it now, but the balance, in all fairness, seems okay. I've got another, I've got another uh, vat coming, so I'm having another vat, which I tried to get a few weeks ago, but they wouldn't let me have it. So I've got another vat coming, and the ones and do this off the front camera and as you know I had the best with the phone them in there they're going to be evicted soon they're going to be evicted out of there and they're going to be in the new vat the new pod the pod and everything will go on the setup as it is will go on and um, and that's what we'll be doing and that vat will be going just down by the um, by the Daphnia tank at the other side of this one this holds around about 200 gallon um, and it's 
it's a rigid fiberglass vat <coughs> so that should do me better stead than just having a temporary pool over winter with them in um, at least with a fiberglass vat I can uh, I can get some sort of insulation on it whether it be clad in it like I did with a big tank or, and uh, polystyrene probably the best bet in all fairness so we'll see about that I've got to fetch that hopefully tomorrow night unless I've got a phone call tonight I can fetch it then it's already paid for so it don't matter fetch it whenever um, what else have I done oh, I've just glued the bottom drain onto the 4 inch pipe work and I'll tell you what I'll do before I go any further because it ain't the best off the front camera I'll spin you around and I'll show you what else I've done so as I said there's the uh, the bottom drain that's glued just gone off or just going off pretty much yeah it's gone off now that's uh, that's gone off now so the bottom drain is glued obviously to a 3 metre length I ain't going to need 3 metres but I haven't done measurements yet if I just go around this side a little bit I will show you all the fiberglass is now out so except for some stubborn little bits down in the corners where Mick White Law obviously got a bit excited with his roller so I've cut the rest of that out last night so that's all ready to go I'm going to have a good sweep up in there I'm going to get that concreted up in the middle first and then my new drain should sit around about here I would have thought just on the edge of where that rubble is and that's going to be pretty much the middle still got to work it out my, my drain run then will come this way see that, see that there? that's a little arrow hang on let me zoom you in so you see the arrow there where I've uh, cut into the concrete that's the centre of my pond so I'll come just this side of the arrow and then I'll put an elbow right as tight as I can to the wall going up um, obviously I've got to get a valve and everything on the other end so when it comes up here so um, also you'll probably notice that I've moved all the blocks off the side of the pond and they're all stacked up down here as well ready to go there's all the fiberglass in a dirty big pile so I've got to sort that out that's my next job today I think I'll get that all tied together I've got some rope hanging up there ready to tie it up together and that's that's pretty much where we are at the minute and um, yeah slow progress as I know but things have been happening over the last few weeks and the weekends have been took up <coughs> and uh, and yeah but I've got a visitor I do believe coming in the weekend hopefully Saturday um, he's coming for a couple of fish what I've been holding in this pond so I'll get a bit of footage when he's here um, so he's going to be coming over for a couple out of here I've been hanging on to him for him <coughs> and that's a couple of golden corns in there got to get that'll then give me the opportunity to sort out what I'm keeping and what I'm going to put in the sales vat so I think Saturday is going to be a very busy day um, I'm going to make a separate video as well you might have seen it by the time you've seen this concerning nothing to do with these just just walking over here just to show you it's concerning Vercon and a story I was told um, by a friend of mine I will check see if I can name him in the video before I, before I start doing it um, just concerning Vercon now I know there's a lot of conspiracies over Vercon and some people write it and some people don't and then other people argue the dosage rates when I tell you this story believe it or not it's going to blow your mind but um, it is what it is these are more sand as well meeting with Tancho Show as I've already said has lost all its colour I'm hoping the Sumi will come back over winter but there's no marks on it and this I mean you can see how they are now once I've told you this story about Vercon you'll then realise that I've already done it to this pond but we'll see how we get on in all fairness when I treated the kinky Atsuri proper salt for three four days uh, but I've done what I've done and it's got his head round now I think that the, it's just going to be a bit of a waffle you know what I mean I'll do it skeggy style that's what I'll do I'll sit in my chair and I'll do it skeggy style but we'll uh, enough said about that but yeah, this, these have got to be thinned out. There's too many fish in here. Way too many. I mean, I'm bailing the food in. I'm getting the growth. But not the growth I think I should be getting, in all fairness. Slowing them down a little bit, I think. That's what I'm feeding. And I'm loving it. They are just cold getting off of it, in all fairness. And the waste is minimal, which I like. 
and I'll be honest with you, the waste is less than sake kari and the ingredients are basically the same with the prebiotic in as well so yeah, right, that's where I am on Thursday night like I said I'm going to do a bit of a waffle I'm very calm when I get round to it, I'll put that out on its own separate short video though that's just going to be a short video but I've got to have a, a permission before I, uh, before I do that so the blocks are ready to go oh, as well, the weekend Saturday morning, I do believe my mate's coming with a steel saw and he's cutting my window out so once once this front wall's gone and I've got all the rubble out of the way what I'll do then is I'll come up with a wheelbarrow full of sand start banging the sand in into the pond it's then there ready for me to mix so that's, that's another thing hopefully the window will be cut out by the weekend uh, and we'll see where we go from there Happy days, catch you later. How been ya? Saturday, Saturday afternoon, around about 12 ish, quarter past 12, and I've just had a friend of mine around with a still saw. One cut there, one cut just there, if you can see it, just down here. And yeah, it cuts across the bottom on the outside because that's just a brick up into that off. And then it's cut out around there, look. Uh, so that's the rest of the fiberglass is there. So that's, that's cut out ready for the window, which is going to be around about four foot six. Four foot six by two foot, but I'm still thinking about putting another row of bricks all the way around the top of the pond and just bringing it up another brick. But we'll see how we get on with that. That'll probably be one of the last things to do anyway. So it's Saturday afternoon, that's where we are. I've got a visitor coming today. I might have two coming today. Um, so I've got plenty on, so there won't be much filming done until well, I might do a bit when he gets here. We'll do a bit of a question and answers with him if you like. And see what he's been up to. So yeah, there you go, that's where I am today. Uh, loads to fill in there. Loads of stuff to chuck in. I've got to get rid of that. Which the lad who's just come and cut that out for me, he said he's going to do. He's going to get rid of that for me. So I've got to skip at work so he can get rid of all that. So, happy days, and say it cost a penny, that's the beauty of it. So, I'm just having a bit of a tap at it now with the, uh, the hammer and chisel, because I think there's steel in there, and we couldn't get all the way through, all the way through with a steel saw. So, having a bit of a tap at it, so I'll snap back to you later. So I just wanted to show this, I've started taking a few of the outer skin bricks off. And if you look, this is all, that was in the cavity, you can see the inner skin there, look. So, I've got a lot of uh, compo in that cavity. So all you've got was really, the bits what was, just creating sort of a, a, th a filler between them. And that's basically what it was, that's all there was. So people who lay these blocks down on the side, just goes to show you don't need it. And I have seen ponds, I mean this is three foot, three foot tall. And I've seen ponds built out of just a single skin of brick as well. Just an engineering brick. Um, and I've held as well. So you don't need all this layer blocks on the side and put 16 foot to foot in. You don't need it. This pond's been standing many, many years as I've already documented. So just goes to show that when a brick is laid, and you build a wall, it's actually a lot stronger than what you think. Or if half your pond is in the vault, in the floor, all the pressure on that pond is on the bottom, bottom corners. So all the pressure in this pond would have been all around these bottom corners. Put some water in a carrier bag and see where the most pressure is. You know what I mean? Most pressure's at the bottom, pushing out, and that's what it wants to do. Water physically wants to push out, and that's what it wants to do. So all your pressure is around there. But, you know, you can teach people how to suck eggs, you can only advise. This is this is actually the tallest part of the wall and the thinnest. So you can see the outer skin. And then just a little bit of compo in the middle and the inner skin. So it was always the thinnest part of the wall. And it's the one that if anything, if it ever, if it ever let go, then the old garden, house, street, the lot would have been flooded. Because there would have been three foot of water gushing down my path. So yeah, just to document that, just to show that it is what it is. I think there's some steel in there as well, if I'm honest, because we, we seem to think, I can't remember putting any in, 
but I think there might be some in because a few sparks was coming out as he was cutting. But the foot, the wind itself is going to be four foot six by at the minute two foot. But if I put another row of bricks around the pond, it's going to be four foot six visible by about two foot four, two foot five by the time I've done it. But what I am going to do, just to show you, I've got any lead in my pencil, which I hate. These front corners here, I'm just going to chamfer them off. So he's coming back with a steel saw and we're going to chamfer the corner off both sides just to make it look like a more a more inviting window. So uh, Saturday afternoon that's where, I'm, where I am. As I said I've got a, got a visitor coming today so he'll be here in a couple of hours. So it'll give me a couple of hours to crack on with this and see, see I might even have it out by the end of the day. We'll see how we get on. Catch you later. How been you? It's been about a week since I put the camera up, I think. It's, uh, it's been one of them. Um, right, where am I? What is it? Wednesday night. It's been a week. It's been about four days. Wednesday night, as you can see, everything's been took off the uh, temporary vat. Um, the water change is empty. Still got loads of plants. If anybody wants any, come and see me. I'll come and get some, because I'm doing me bloody fruit. I've got that many. I've got nowhere to put them. So, this is just at the moment. With my little trusted pump just getting pumped out so that water is getting transferred along this yellow yellow line all along the shallow line as you can see the Daphne tanks there and we've got this bad boy running now around about 200 gallon um, I've already transferred the fish out of that and that's pumping into there now so this is a better a better home for them it's still in all fairness, I've still got to sort it out because I'm going, you know, I'm doing it for now. But it's got to be, uh, it's got to be stuff polished in. So the setup from now is like at the minute, the temporary, temporary version of it is that. So you've got the Daphnia tank here. That's sitting on top of some timbers on top of the Daphnia tank, which is taking all the weight. I'm looking at this now thinking that might be bowing a little bit, so I'll get that sorted in a minute. Uh, and obviously, they am okay. And now, they're in a better arm there, better temporary arm. So, hopefully, everything should be hunky-dory, he says. Um, the reasons for it? Several. If I ever meet you and you ask me, I'll tell you. Um, also, I had a club night last night, Birmingham Club, had a meeting, pre-show meeting because it's the show in a couple of weeks. I've been talked into showing, so I've got to sort out in here what's going to be going. I think I'll take a couple of the showers from in here. Uh, I'm pondering the Sankey, I don't know what to do with the Sankey. Um, there's a couple of showers in here where I'll take, there's a Ginry one just down the bottom there. And the other one, it's amazing, isn't it? they're up the window all day, and when you come with the camera, they disappear. Don't know why that could be used to lean mind. So there's the one Ginrin shower, just going across there, that's male. And there's the female shower, which I think I've shown you before. You've probably seen her before. But uh, yeah, so I've got to sort out what I'm taking and take some photos. There's a little um, Shintaro Sanki in here, what I think I'll take. Maybe a couple of the Easter showers, and well, we'll see. That'll probably be about it. I ain't taking too much. The more you take, the harder it gets. So yeah, well, there we are. Wednesday night. Not a lot happened with the pond, other than we've had a couple of thunderstorms and heavy rain this afternoon as well. And there's about six inches of water in the bottom. It slowly drains away, mind. So it is what it is. Even when the block work's all built and the drain's all concrete and it's still going to hold water. It's one of them, mate. It is what it is. So I can hear my pump now, sucking air. So I'm going to sort this lot out. And I'll either snap back to you later or I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> 